Hi, I'm Emily Shelton. We're here on top of the green roof garden at the Rice Plant Conservation Science Center. So far this spring, we've been doing a lot of weeding and bulb counting, trying to see what's been coming up. One of the pleasant surprises we have to work around up here in the early season are the killdeer nests, which you can see we have flagged off. Over here is one of them. We have a couple on the other side as well. We try to stay a good distance away from these nests. They are ground nesting birds. The eggs blend in really well, especially with this gravel or on ground level with the mulch that we have in the bed. So they're pretty hard to see, so we have to mark them. Otherwise, if you do get too close, the mother kill deer will run in the opposite direction and flap her wing and squawk very loudly. She pretends like she has a broken wing to divert predators. The babies, if you can catch a glimpse of any of the babies, are adorable. They have very, very long legs, so you can tell that they're naturally a shorebird. You see them a lot of times on the lagoon sides, but they do like the rooftop here. I think it's a little more secluded. They don't have the foot traffic that some of the other garden areas have, and the eggs blend in really well. Our ultimate goal is to have drifts of some of the smaller dwarf bulbs through through the sedums and through some of the low growing flocks because it really does add a lot of spring interest. Um, we'd like to have that be one of our garden's wows. And the, the dwarf species definitely do better than some of the larger bulbs that you would typically plant elsewhere in the garden.